Okay, so the number one question I have been getting forever for the past two weeks, the past ten days. Have you played Pokemon Go? What are your thoughts on Pokemon Go? Oh my god, you have to be so excited about Pokemon Go. Have you caught a Pikachu yet at Pokemon Go? Have you caught your Eevee in Pokemon Go? And I know, I know, I understand the questions because I was very excited for Pokemon Go. And I am a major Pokemon fan. Duh. This is actually my happy birthday ribbon because it's my birthday when I'm filming this. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. So we're going to answer some of those questions today because I got a little bit to say about Pokemon Go. If you don't know what Pokemon Go is, it's basically allowing those of us who are grown childs or grown children to become a Pokemon Master. We can download this game onto our iPhones or our Samsungs or whatever, go outside, and by using our GPS signal and a camera phone, you get to catch Pokemon. You get to catch Rattata, Pidgey, Pikachu, Flareons, whatever. And I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I barely played the game for two different reasons. One, the GPS signal just forever goes back and forth on deciding whether or not it wants to work. When I'm here in this apartment, anywhere around this apartment, it doesn't want to work. And then I restart it, and then it still doesn't want to work. And then sometimes even when I'm out and about in the heart of Toronto, downtown Toronto, the GPS signal still doesn't want to be found. I don't know. But I have caught a couple Pokemon. I caught a Drowsy, Pidgey, Caterpie, Weedle, Rattata. Honestly, some not that great Pokemon. Probably only a few, less than five are Pokemon of any real substance. Drowsy, Execute, which, eh, not my personal favorites, but you know, it was better than a bunch of Rattata and Caterpie. And now I am imagining this sad little Caterpie right here. But I mean, I played the game enough to know whether or not this is something that I really enjoy. And you know what, if I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that wild over it. And I, I feel like I can just feel the world crumbling from underneath me right now. And I can imagine all my viewers and subscribers like forming around my apartment right now going, what, who are you? I don't know who you are. But really, I don't know. I feel like I get kind of bored easily just walking around and then trying to catch the Pokemon just by doing this. Maybe I've been playing the original Nintendo games for a little bit too long. There's no such thing as too long. But I just really prefer the old games more, the original games. I know that they are two completely different games, they're on a completely different system, and you know, all of that, but I don't know, I like the battles, I like the walking around with the little itty bitty character. I like the story of this big mean antagonist that wants to destroy the world. Wait, we have that in real life. But I don't have to deal with that in real life. I'm not actually going up to their faces. And if I ever did that in real life, I'd probably be killed. In Pokemon, that doesn't happen. In the Pokemon games, I am great and I can beat them within five minutes or less than that, depending. But yeah, I don't know. I am still, I'm not saying that I hate Pokemon Go and I'm not gonna play it. I'm still going to try to see if I can get it to work. Right now, I'm using an Android, a Samsung Galaxy S5, tell us let me borrow why I'm here in Canada and then when I go back to the States which is in just a few days uh, I'm gonna try it with my actual phone my iPhone and see if it works any better so we'll see if my thoughts on the game improve if the signal improves on this phone but for right now even it's just not the signal it's just also the game itself I'm not I prefer you know yellow and crystal and but that's just me you can leave a comment down below and tell me which game you prefer if you like them both equally tell me how you like Pokemon Go and we're gonna have this great little conversation about it. Oh, and you should check out DTV News because I did a story about Pokemon Go and the history of Pokemon. It was a great special report and I am very proud of Rosina for doing a great job on reporting it. I wish I could have done it myself, but oh well. It is what it is, but it made me cry and I'm so happy. But yeah, if you want to follow me on any other social media like Facebook and Twitter, uh, links to that will be down below. If you want to be a patron on Patreon and support my channel monthly, the link to that will also be down below. You can get some Patreon exclusive videos and posts and pictures and what have you and you get to view my videos a day early. Sometimes I screw up on that but I upload videos every Monday and Thursday unless otherwise stated and I will see you later. Bye.